What's in my camera bag 2020? Let's get it. guys so here we are with the bag and first of all let's start off with the bag this is the peak design everyday zip 20 liter um, if you're interested in this bag I made a full video about it that I'll link up above in your right hand um, corner and uh, let's start with the top of the bag so really I don't keep much in the top of this bag it depends on the day um, sometimes I'll have more stuff in it. Sometimes I'll have my Ronin S in here. Um, right now, all I have is my Polaroid 600, which was made in the 70s. Um, I love these cameras. I love how they just hold a very nostalgic uh, feel with their photos. Um, so this is all I have in here right now. And then in this pocket, right, right in here, I just have a little GoPro session. This is an old one. I rarely use it, but it's so small. Um, I just keep it in my bag all the time. Um, so let's move on to the laptop sleeve, which is in the very back of the bag, right here. So first of all, as you'd expect, I have a laptop in here. This is just a 13 inch. Um, it's an old one. I haven't really felt a huge need to upgrade. Um, so that's in there. And then besides that, I have a notebook and a sharpie right here so i use this um, bullet journal um, it's made by moleskin i really like it it just helps me to quickly jot down ideas and um, works really well for me and then besides that i just have a couple of cables um, usb-c and a micro usb so now we'll move on to the main compartment of the bag we'll start on this side um, this is a double-sided um, bag so Go right here. Um, first of all, let's start uh, in these pockets. So in this little pocket right here, I have an Aperture M9. This is one of my favorite little battery powered lights. I have two of them um, and I just kind of bring them everywhere because they're so small and I have room for them in my bag. And then in the zipper below, I have some extra Fujifilm batteries. And then in the side, as you can already see, I have a Rode Video Micro. Uh, this is, in my opinion, the best compact microphone from Rode, super affordable as well. And then in the bottom, what you'll see is this little gray pouch. This is also from Peak Design. Um, and I love it because it helps me keep all the small bits and bytes, uh, just like hard drives and stuff like that, um, organized. So in here, I have a Logitech MX Anywhere mouse. I don't use it all the time, but I bring it with me. I also have a SanDisk one terabyte SSD. I just switched over to this and I'm blown away with how tiny and compact they are. Really liking it so far. And then besides that, I just have some uh, more cables. I have extra um, hard drive cables in here, and I also have some more USB-C and micro USB because I use those a lot. So let's move on to the other side of the bag. This is where um, the camera gear is held. Um, for the most part, I am keeping this pretty light right now. Um, keep in mind, depending on the day, I will have different gear in here. Some days I might have the Fujifilm X-H1 in here if I'm planning on doing hybrid photo and video. Um, but right now I just have a different Fujifilm, which I primarily use for photo. Um, so first of all, let's start up here in this little pouch. I have a um, little SD card case. Uh, I like how it's bright orange, but it holds all of my Lexar SD cards. Uh, those are just the ones I prefer. They're fast, they're not incredibly expensive, um, and they work well with Fujifilm cameras. Um, and then in this down here, same as the other side, just have some extra Fujifilm batteries. These are these ones are from Wasabi Power. Um, definitely recommend them as a third-party brand. They work well and they're very affordable. And then down here, you'll see the main compartment holds the Fujifilm XE3. And I really, really love this camera. It's super tiny. Um, like literally with the uh, pancake lens, you could fit this in your pocket. Um, it's a great street photo camera, and I love it for photography in general. Um, this is more of a personal camera because I'm using the Fujifilm X-H1 for my all-around photo and video work camera, basically. Um, and then I use this for more personal stuff or just smaller scale photo shoots. So that's in there. And then if I flip this up, you'll see I have a Canon kit lens, which I'm just adapting to Fujifilm because I don't have much Fujifilm glass yet. Um, and then we'll put that back in there. 
And that is really it, guys. I mean, I keep, I've been trying to uh, slim down my bag because I used to use the Low Pro 350 AW and it was all just getting way too big and heavy. So that is what I have in my camera bag. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, what's in my camera bag 2020. I always enjoy making these videos and I always love watching them um, just from other people's uh, camera bags and just seeing what they use and bring with them on a daily basis. Um, obviously none of us are really going many places right now, but I thought it'd still be fun to do. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe, comment below on other videos you'd like to see in future, and I'll see you in the next one.